I'm sure you should have seen these colorful charts. It's called the periodic table. It is a cornerstone of chemistry because it periodically organizes the element based on their chemical properties. But what if I told you that Sanskrit might have helped in the creation of periodic table? Since the 19th century, scientists have been working to classify and group the elements. Numerous chemists made significant progress discovering patterns and relationship among smaller groups of elements. However, they struggled to create a comprehensive system that included all the known elements. The breakthrough came in 1869 when Mendeleev began organizing the elements by their atomic weights. Unlike the previous scientist, he could arrange most of the known elements in a pattern of increasing atomic weights. When certain elements did not fit into his system, he boldly predicted that either the elements atomic weights were measured incorrectly or that they were missing an element yet to be discovered. Around the same time, German chemist Lothar Mayer also presented a concept of periodicity by plotting atomic volumes against atomic weight. Mayer and Mendeleev engaged in a prolonged dispute as who should be credited with the discovery of periodic table. But what made Mendeleev win this dispute was his bold prediction of yet unknown elements that secured his fame. To name these hypothetical elements, he used the prefix eka, dvi, tri, meaning 1, 2, 3 in Sanskrit. This is Mendeleev's periodic table where the white gaps represent the predicted missing elements. He called the element which occupied the first gap as eka boron because it was one place down from boron. Similarly, the element in the next gap was called as eka aluminium because it was one place down from aluminium. In this fashion, Mendeleev used the Sanskrit prefix based on how far the unknown elements were from the known ones. During the 18th century, it was the norm in the field of science to use Greek or Latin or sometimes even German to name stuff which continues even today. The question we need to ask is why Sanskrit was used to name these elements. To understand why Mendeleev used Sanskrit words in his periodic table, we first need to consider how he may have learned about the Sanskrit language that only a few Europeans knew at that time. Mendeleev was working as the chair of the chemistry at St. Petersburg University in then unified Russia that is USSR. Mendeleev gained friendship with the eminent Indologist Otto von Wutlink who was also working at St. Petersburg Academy of Science. At about the same time, Wutlink was preparing the second edition of his book on Panini, a celebrated Indian grammarian. If you're not familiar with Panini, we will discuss about him in some time. Bootlink was interested in Sanskrit because he was applying Panini's grammatical principles to study the Yakut language spoken in Siberia. It was on this ground that these two men shared an interest since Siberia was Mendeleev's birthplace. Before understanding how Panini's grammar could have influenced Mendeleev's periodic table, we need to recognize the contribution of Panini to Sanskrit language. It is said that when Panini was meditating on Lord Shiva to receive knowledge, Lord Shiva was impressed by Panini's devotion and appeared before him. He played his Damaru 14 times, producing 14 sounds. Panini accepted these sounds from Shiva's Damaru as 14 sutras and called them as Maheshwara Sutra. Based on the Maheshwara Sutra, he created the most comprehensive grammar text of any language, the Ashtadhyayi. The Ashtadhyayi forms the foundation text of the Sanskrit language which continues to be studied even today by scholars of linguistics. This is the Maheshwara Sutra as heard by Panini. The sutras 1 to 4, I un, drill, rik, e, om, I, auch, forms the swara or vowels 
and the sutra 5 to 14 are formulated as vyanjanas or consonants it is based on maheshwara sutra the varnamala which contains both swaras and vyanjanas was formulated if you notice the varnamala was arranged in a tabular form because it was based on two main features of the sound one place of articulation which is where the alphabets are made in the mouth and two aspiration whether the alphabets are breathed out with force let us understand this better with an example these are vyanjanas and sanskrit if you notice the sound of the alphabet in each row they are produced from different parts of the mouth like throat lips teeth this property is called the place of articulation which is where the alphabets are made in the mouth in the same way the second and the fourth letter in each row like kh gh ch j is pronounced with more force compared to the previous one this is called as aspiration if you observe closely a similar arrangements of vowels and consonants can be seen in all indian languages it is from this understanding that sanskrit is called the mother of all languages now coming back to the story of mendeleev's periodic table less is known about mendeleev's exact eureka moment of arranging the elements in increasing atomic weights paul kipersky a professor of linguistic at stanford university draws parallel between panini and mendeleev's system just as panini found the phonological patterning of sounds in the language is a function of their articulatory property so mendeleev found the chemical properties of elements are a function of their atomic weights just as panini arranges sounds in order of increasing phonotic complexity so mendeleev arranged the elements in the order of increasing atomic weights just as panini broke the phonotic parallelism of sounds when the simplicity of the system required it so mendeleev gave the priority to isomorphism over atomic weights when they conflicted though there is no concrete evidence that mendeleev knew sanskrit it is possible that he was familiar with the varnamala through his friendship with bootlink this fundamental concept would have been known to even a beginner student who would have been studying sanskrit as we know varnamala was structured based on two main features of sound which is place of articulation and two aspiration similarly mendeleev identified two key properties of an element which is valency and atomic weight and arranged them in a two dimensional format to create the periodic table convinced that the pattern he observed was fundamental mendeleev proposed that the gaps in his table represented elements that were yet to be discovered for these hypothetical elements he used the sanskrit prefix eka dvi three as an o to its inspiration from sanskrit mendeleev predicted a total of 14 unknown elements but only the prediction of three elements were correct the other 11 predictions were unsuccessful because he failed to recognize the presence of lanthanides which is the consequence of the limitation of scientific knowledge at that time these three elements predicted by mendeleev as eka aluminum eka boron and eka silicon were found as gallium scandinium and germanium in later years this video is an attempt to highlight the influence that sanskrit might have had on mendeleev's groundbreaking work of periodic table while it is not my intention to claim that sanskrit contain all the knowledge of modern science or to attribute the creation of periodic table to indians what is important is to recognize the structural similarities between periodic table and sanskrit varnamala because i always believe that the flow of knowledge from india to europe on science mathematics astronomy literature and arts have gone acknowledged by the historians and scientists if you like my video stay subscribed until then stay together learn together